What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the secret to uploading images onto social media in the highest quality possible. So guys, as you can see right now, I am on my Twitter. If you aren't following me already, I definitely recommend you do. I post all of my designs on here. Uh, my Twitter is at visualjdaniels. And recently I did a design post. Um, it was just basically a practice design. I uploaded it and it was for the new phase Fortnite player called Cloak. And uh, luckily he actually saw the design, which was absolutely insane. Now you're probably thinking, what does this design have anything to do with the video? Now, a lot of people in the replies and also in DMs have been messaging me saying how do you upload your images so high quality to Twitter now as you can see here this is really really high quality uh, there's nothing actually wrong with the image quality of course it may be a little bit better inside Photoshop because Twitter does compress their images I'm gonna go ahead and show you my way on how I uh, save the images in the highest quality possible and also how I upload them in the highest quality possible so first of all you want to go into Photoshop and this is the design that I will be using for an example um, on this tutorial tutorials so uh, first of all before you go ahead and start anything once your design is complete you want to go ahead and group everything now in order to do this is really really simple um, I've done it here but I can do it again all you have to do is press shift on your top layer shift um, while well, holding shift you want to click on the bottom layer and then press the little group icon and now if you press ctrl J that duplicates that uh, group and then press ctrl E and that will merge it into one single layer so once you have one layer you can go ahead and rename it or whatever uh, this just makes it a whole lot easier as well as this I just want to tell you guys if you want the best high quality header um, say you're making a Twitter header make sure to use 3000 by 1000 I know that's pretty self-explanatory but a lot of people do use like smaller sizes this is the best to work with always go with a higher quality and then you can downscale it if you wish so once your uh, header banner whatever it is is in one single layer what you want to do is go to file here on the left hand side you want to select export and then save for web once this opens up, it's really simple. You just have to select the preset of PNG 24. We've got the quality on bilinear. I believe this is just the normal preset. If you want to mess about with the other ones, you can do so, but this is how I do it. So once that's done, I just press save and uh, you can choose a location to save the image and it's as simple as that. So guys, once the design has been saved, you now want to open up a brand new document in order to actually put it in some sort of revamp layout in order for you to post it. Now, as you can see here, this is a really simple layout I've got the header in the center and then I've got uh, the header blurred in the background with a lowered opacity and then just some text on the right hand side you can add some more stuff to this if you wish but I will go ahead and leave the exact like template that I use in the description for you guys to download for free what you want to do once you do have like your template open is you basically want to go ahead and drag and drop your header so um, I'm gonna go to this one here we go and uh, now what you want to do is resize it so just holding down shift and you also want to make sure that um, obviously there is some background showing here you don't want the header to cover up the whole of the image and now what you want to do guys if you are using my header template um, is basically just copy and paste the layer style here if you are using your own uh, then it doesn't really matter. It's basically just a stroke with a drop shadow really simple And that just makes the header stand out a little bit more from the background And um, if you want to add this like background blur effect really simple Just press ctrl J on your header and then um, you can rasterize it So I'm gonna do that now you just put it below everything and uh, press ctrl T holding down shift Just enlarge it here you can press enter once you are done and now go to filter go to blur Gaussian blur make the Gaussian blur around about uh, I'm gonna say around about five and then you want to change the opacity to around about 30 I use 27 it really doesn't matter and this is basically the exact template that I use so the way I save it is really simple uh, like I said before make sure everything is grouped so shift on the top shift on the bottom press the group icon and uh, now everything will be in one group now what you want to do once that is selected is press ctrl J and then ctrl E and that will merge it into one single layer and now what you want to do is press ctrl J again 
again with the top one you want to go to filter here at the top you want to go to sharpen and then you want to go to smart sharpen now i believe this will go ahead and give you a default um which as you can see here is 200 and a one radius and a 10 reduced noise you can use one of these settings you can load your own or whatever but i just use the default and press ok once you are done and as you can see here if i go ahead and hide this it has basically sharpened a lot of the details on the header now sometimes if you have text like this it doesn't really work out so uh, the reason we made two layers is so we can grab the eraser and erase off any two sharp parts of, of your header or your banner whatever it is and once you have done that you want to press control on the top control on the bottom and then press control e on your keyboard and you want to also hide the group so only this layer is selected and now what you want to do is go to the opacity here on the right hand side change that to 99 percent simple as that and now go back to file export save for web use the exact same png24 settings and just save the image once you go ahead and upload the image to twitter it's going to be a lot more high quality uh, than saving it like as a jpeg or just straight up saving the header so i definitely recommend doing this method as i said i'll leave a link to the template that i've got here in the description for you to download which will make it a bit easier anyways guys that is it for the video if you did go on to enjoy and this video did actually help you then please be sure to smash a like on the video that would be be much appreciated also if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing i post a lot of graphic design content so if you are interested in that then make sure to subscribe with post notifications on and finally guys i just want to mention that i posted this design a while ago where i used absolutely no stocks to make the design and so many of you wanted to get a template like download so i've gone ahead and i've put it up on my store the template well the actual header did take ages to make but you guys can fully edit the template now it's it's not up at the moment but as of you watching this video it will be live as you can see here and uh, it's basically literally just a PSD file where you can open it up you can go ahead and edit the text you can edit the socials and the logo at the top and as well as that you can mess about with parts of the background uh, not all of it is editable but the main parts of course as I said like the text and stuff is so if you want to get a header uh, that looks like this for a price of £3.59 because there is a 28% off sale at the moment as of it being a new product then go ahead and check it out as I said it's on my store I'll leave a link to it in the description down below selfie.com forward slash visual jd and yes guys that is it for the video hopefully you enjoyed the quick tip this has been visual or james animal peace